Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony. And with us from the sidelines tonight, David Aldridge. Let's check out the Eastern Conference standings now that we're in the new year. You look at Chicago. They're looking extremely sharp right now, poised in the top spot and playing very well. Yeah, but checking out Chicago, they had a few critics coming into the season, and now I don't think they have any. This is a club ready to not only make a deep run, but possibly win it all. Even though some people doubted them, there are just as many people, if not more, who believed in this team from the very beginning. And it's pretty clear right now who was right. Let's check out Chicago's starting lineup. Rojevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. Kobe White is out there with Dosumu. And it's Levine and it's small forward. And for the Trailblazers, Anderson and Simons, they have guard duties. Rich is out there with Ayton. And it's Grant in at the three spot. We'll have to keep our eyes on the center matchup, Greg, in this one. These two bigs bring so much to their respective teams. Yeah, and, and remember when people thought centers were going extinct? Look around the league. There, there's so much talent at that position, including the two guys we get to watch here tonight. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Well, White has quickly developed great floor vision. Doesn't miss the wide open man. The high post shot. Henderson, no good. Here's Vucevic. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Portland. And interconference matchup. They faced these guys twice a season. And last year, they took both games. There's Levine showing out with that high arcing jump shot from the corner. And here is Simon. After the three-pointer from Zach Levine. Bridges. Then Bridges jams it in. Oh, just an impressive dunker of the basketball. I love how Bridges just takes the initiative and gets funky with his throwdown. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam Camp. Well, Chicago has gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. Right the pass to Williams. Here's Dosunmu. And it's good assisting on the play was Williams. Dosunmu's got six. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Simons kicks to Anderson. Back to Simons. To the inside. It's all in by the Bulls. Their last game a win against the Lakers, looking to carry it into this one. And sometimes it's a lot harder to get easy looks on the road, but they found ways to get their guys good looks. Yeah, they seem unfazed by the hostile environment. I mean, just look at how efficiently they shot the ball. Hey, GA, you went to back-to-back -back conference finals with Portland. What's it like playing here? I mean, this building is as loud as any in the NBA. The fans are tremendous, very loyal. I really enjoyed my time here in Rip City. For Chicago, they've gone 4-4 four four to start. So a nice offensive rhythm to start here. For three, Levine connects from three-point range. He has six. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Henderson passes to Bridges. Back to Henderson. Simon's up top. Henderson looking it over. And it's Grant in the corner. Portland again missing. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Dosunmu shot is off. Trailblazers trail by 11. Three-pointer, Simon. Rebound by Williams. And the Bulls with possession. Some momentum with a 15-2 run underway. And then Henderson with the jam. There's the basketball line of Henderson working. Stayed ahead of the play for the score. Now here's Dosumu. Guarded close. But drive by Henderson. Count it. Henderson's got his third basket of the night. 125 left in the first quarter. Outside Levine. And the chicken by Levine. 
just muscling through the contact. Levine is a flat out star. 114 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Simons. He's coming off a 16 point game against the Spurs in San Antonio. He's more than chipped in on the glass as well. Just a tremendous effort last time out. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. And the Bulls decide to take their first time out here. So for the Trailblazers, Robert Williams is checked in for Grant. Shaden Sharp comes in for Inferni Simons. And Delano Bantons subbed in for Scoot Henderson. The Bulls also changing it up. Green, he's checked in for Zach Levine. Carter comes in for Dosumu. And it's Lonzo Ball in for White. The Bulls leading by six. Here's Bull. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Robert Williams. And it's the quickness of Ball that's a problem for defenders. Solid at finding ways to get fouled on the way up. Taking two shots. good from ball yeah, I tell you what it's scary when you think about how much room ball has to grow when you factor in how efficient he is already no good on the second free throw trailblazers trail by seven here's Benton that one no good Excellent D there from Williams. Excellent D there from Williams. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniffed that one out. Sharp the pass to Aiton. And it's off from three-point range. Bulls leading by seven. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Good on the shot. You can count on Vucevic to make a few clever handoffs. He sees what's happening at all times. Now, here's Bridges. Five points in the game. On the wing, Williams. Over Williams. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Chicago Bulls in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. to have you with us folks second quarter of basketball this game has not exactly been neck and neck but plenty of time left in this one and a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the bull they've really been dialed in from deep this is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability and it seems they've also put an emphasis on moving the ball working to rotate around the defense and find those quality looks and Bernie Simons out there with Sharp then it's Williams. Then it's Walker. And it's Kamare in at the three slot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Yep, that one goes in there. Walker's got the opening basket here in the second quarter for Portland. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. You know, Richard, this is not just your job. You're a huge fan of basketball. 
So that being said, who was your favorite player to watch? Back in the day, it was David Robinson. He was my very, very first favorite player. And I actually got to play against him in his last game that he ever played in the NBA Finals when they beat us. But right now, it's probably Steph Curry, Jokic, LeBron. I love guys that just play the game in such a beautiful, unique way as a fan. That's my favorite. Here's Levine. Trailblazers knocking down the truck. Passes it to ball. Here's Craig. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Pass to Sharp. Outside Williams. A kick out to Simon. Two on the clock. Ball with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's Levine. Here's Truman. The Bulls with another miss. And Simons has got the ball here for Portland. Only given up two points this quarter. You know, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside positioning. He, he just goes for the finish. So in Chicago now, after the Trailblazers pick up two, and it's Green with the jam. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. And he's got his first chance at the line here. So for the Bulls, Patrick Williams, he's checked in for Andre Drummond. Dosumu comes in for Torrey Craig. And it's Kobe White in for Lonzo Ball. throw good green trailblazers trail by seven Henderson with it six points for him Bridges sets the screen for Henderson Bridges outside off target from outside Bulls have gone two of six in the field in the second quarter so far Bean passes to Williams over in the corner, White shoots over Henderson, and it's White missing. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. And when it comes to Kobe White, a young guard who shoots with assertiveness. Well, he's a guy that knows his role, Greg, and when he's out there, his teammates encourage him to shoot the ball because they know how hot he can get. I now I send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Simons grew up under the tutelage of his father, whose workout regimen sometimes left his son in tears. Anthony said, I didn't get real joy from working out until middle school. By high school, it was just a normal day. It was so ingrained into me, working out extra and getting up as many shots as possible. Kevin? Well, it brought him here, David. Thank you so much for the story. Got that one up quick. Levine's got five points now this quarter. And that gets him going here in the second after hitting two from long range in that first. And the first time out of the game called here for the Trailblazers. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing that last matchup with San Antonio. Scoring efficiency was an issue in that one. Took them too many shots to get their points. Yeah, it looked like they were settling out there, not moving the ball enough to generate the type of shots that they wanted. Is checked in for the Trailblazers. Sharp comes in for Inferni Simons. Chicago also making some changes. Vucevic, he's checked in for Javante Green. And it's Lonzo Ball in for Levine. Launches it. And it's Sharp missing. The Bulls leading by nine. Right side, Williams. This one for three. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists in the game. Henderson against Ball. Cramp for three. Ball with the rebound. Now oh, Chicago has gone three or four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. No soon move. Takes it off the glass. 
Those two moves got the lead up to 14 now for the Bulls. And at the offensive end, he's done about as much as they could have hoped for today. Pass to Bridges. Grant down low. Bridges shot. Good. Bridges has got seven points. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. The pass to Vucevic. Here's Dosunmu for three. Another three for Chicago. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Now, here's Bridges. 11 points for him in that last game against San Antonio. And don't forget about the work he did on the boards. His rebounding was a huge help in that game. And it's White missing. Henderson dishes to Bridges. Puts up a deep three. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. Their lead at 15 going into the break. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome, everybody. We'll get things going with a look at who might be participating in the upcoming three-point contest. Every one of these guys can put on a clinic shooting the ball. In this year's three-point contest, I predict a plethora of perfect racks. Ooh. Nice alliteration there, Dr. O'Neill. And back to the matchup at hand. Everything has been going smoothly for the Bulls. Well, they're inflicting major damage from downtown, shooting with a lot of confidence. And on the other side, that defense looks frustrated. Frustrated? You mean a little bit crispy? I can smell it. Barbecue chicken time. Mm-hmm. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. The Bulls leading by 15. And on the floor for Billy Donovan as we get into the second half. Kucevic is the pivot. Williams is in the other post spot. Dosumu is out there with Kobe White. And it's Levine in at the small forward. Here's Simons after the Bulls pick up two. It's Henderson on the wing. Grant outside. Fires from deep. It's good from long range. Grant's got his first three points of the game. Already a gifted passer. Henderson has solid vision for such a young player. Outside Williams. For three, Levine. Good. The nice assist for Williams. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. And the definition of a three-level scorer, RJ, Zach Levine can fill it up with the best of them. Yeah, Greg, and with his blend of deep range and elevation, I don't know, he might be a four- or five-level scorer. One thing's for certain, this man's fun to watch. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And what a season he's had at the foul line thus far. 86% from the line. And that one falls for Bridges. I tell you, Bridges, you see the athleticism, the improving skill set, and the instincts 
are coming along. Both free throws good from Bridges. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Here's Dosunmu. No good with the triple. And here's Anderson. He'll bring it up for Portland. 15-point game. Out to Bridges. A three-pointer is right on target. Bridges has got 12. Yeah. Just so precise off the pass. I, I like how Bridges prepares himself to shoot as the ball is coming his way. Nailed from three-point land. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. Well, there's a new era in Portland with number three pick Scoot Henderson viewed as the franchise player of the future. He says, I'm going to embrace it. I've got a lot of responsibility, but it just comes with the work ethic. I always fall back on getting in the gym. I'm determined to be the best version of myself. Kevin, back to you. I love the fact, David, don't you, that he wants to be great. That was a terrific report. Thank you. Grant outside. Passes to Simon. But three. It's all in by the Bulls. Yeah, but they're three of four to start the second half. Bulls moving the ball around. Out to White. Takes the three. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Simons. And here is Ayton. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got five rebounds tonight. White the pass to Vucevic. On the wing, Levine fires the three. Bridges with the board. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. To the paint. Here's Simons. Good, and Grant gets the assist. Simons has got his second basket of the night. And nice pass by Grant. And this is what happens when you become a great scorer. You draw defenders, which often leaves someone open. Timeout call. The Bulls. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Trailblazers making a change here. Sharps checked in. And Chicago also making a switch. Balls checked in. Bulls leading by 13. 152 left in the third quarter. Up and in on the layup. And ball showing some killer instinct there. A solid athlete who knows how to score through contact. Henderson, bounce pass. Right block shot. No good from Grant. Now Chicago has gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Richard looking at Tosumu. He's had some recent recognition for his ability. Getting to appear in the Rising Stars Challenge. Look, a credit to the promise he shows as a young player. That selection can be very encouraging for a young guy. And so here's Portland. The Bulls getting the bucket. Here's Grant. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Jump ball. Bridges dishes to Henderson for the three. And it's good from Bridges on the assist by Henderson. Henderson's got his third assist on the night. 
Over in the corner, White. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Trailblazers trail by 14. All sorts of time, and the shot is good. Sharp's got five now. Uh, just an excellent feel for the game. Scoot Henderson understands how offense is played. Here's Dosunmu. Good on the triple. And the Bulls lead by 15. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Inside. Here's Grant. Plays it up and banks it in. Grant's got his third bucket of the night. And not being as aggressive from the three-point line anymore. They had a lot more attempts in that first half. And it's White missing. And let's be honest, they're winning in spite of his atrocious shooting performance. Grant, right side, wide open look. And the Trailblazers getting another bucket right there. And I love Grant's mindset. Readies himself to shoot as soon as he touches the ball. Here's Ball. And he uses the glass on the lane. He's got five. And haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness. In it. And so it's the Chicago Bulls. 13 points up at the end of the period. And if they keep training the threes like they've been so far, their lead is safe. We come back right after this. And a worthy candidate tonight as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's an unguardable pass. Flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today. We get going in quarter number four. We've got Walker and Bernie Simons out there with Sharp. Then it's Williams. And it's Kamare in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Fires for three. No good there. Bulls leading by 13. Green with the ball. And Simons picks him up defensively. The amazing thing about Williams, yeah, he, he can block shots inside, but he can also block shots out on the perimeter. His ability to play in space means he's more than just a rim protector. Doesn't care where you're shooting from. In the corner, it's Levine. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his fourth assist in this one. And Simons has got the ball here for the Trailblazers. They host the 76ers after this game. They'll find themselves in the middle of this string of three straight at home. Hands it from downtown. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. Over in the corner, White. His three-pointers off the mark. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. And a wide open look for Walker and the three off target. Chicago has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to Green. And here is Ball. He's guarded by Williams. And he gets it to go. And the Bulls lead by 13. I, I'm a fan of how Ball uses that size inside. Excellent at getting his shot off close to the basket. Simons with the ball. Now defended by Levine. And that field goal percentage climbing now above 50%. They look like a different team here in the second half. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Some changes for Chicago. Vucevic checked in for Andre Drummond. Williams comes in for Green. And it's Dosumu in for Ball. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, over that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to listen to what Billy Donovan said to his team. He told them, pedal to the metal. He's adding, we're ahead out here, but it's not over yet. Don't start celebrating in your head. 
when there's work to be done on the floor. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, David. Levine passes to White, and that comes off the assist by Levine. So Levine's got his third assist on the night. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Now, here's Simon. Defense is right there. Feeds it to Grant. Another shot. And it's Aiton missing. Bulls leading by 13. Down low. There's Levine. The Trailblazers pull it in. Just enough resistance to force the miss. Barely. That's one he'll generally make. Here's Simon. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And there's the foul. It's on Miles Bridges. That is his first foul of the game. And Greg, while the commissioner might not like player trade requests, Kevin Durant said it's great for the league for players to have that leverage. Where do you stand? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Uh, the main thing is trying to keep those requests in-house. Otherwise, it can be deflating for fans. It's Henderson on the wing. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Bulls have gone four of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Here's Williams, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throw now. That one misses. Trailblazers trail by 18. Henderson right side. Out to the right wing. Aiton wide open. And he can't stop the run as he misses. The Bulls have gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Or 3, Levine. Another 3 for Chicago. Three. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance, and, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Bulls. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The free throw drops for Dosumu. And with some of the new rooting interest for fans, some concern about potential hostility for the players when great things don't go their way. I mean, there's a lot riding on the outcome of games and, and stat lines, and that's something the league has to take seriously, making sure the players are protected because the emotions can run rampant. 109 left in the fourth quarter. Trailblazers trail by 20. There's the pass to Sharp. They set the pick. And he banks in the layup. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Now, here's Ball. He's tightly guarded. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Sharp, the pass to Williams. And it's Williams finishing it off. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. 
And there's the bucket from Gosumu. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. At the line for one. Sharp. On the free throw, no good. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Bulls. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Chalk up two there. And the Bulls lead by 19. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moment. They put this game away in style. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Ayo Dosumu.